Hey y'all, welcome to Lion's Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'll be doing a daily tarot for all signs for June 6, 2021. Keep in mind, timing is fluid, okay? So if it yet fails to resonate with you for June 6, 2021, it still may resonate with you in the future. I'm using the Work Your Light Oracle first. Thank you, spirits, ancestors, angels, and God. What do we all need to know for June 6, 2021? Hope you guys had a beautiful and blessed day so far. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? All right, time to answer the call and on a Sunday, okay? All right, using the Angel Oracle deck. My bad, y'all. All right. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and God. What do we all need to know? We know we got to answer that call. All right, not the right time, not the right time. All right, pull some tarot. Affirmator's tarot deck. Thank you, spirit guides. What do we need to know? All right, current situation. Ten of Cups. All right, we keep getting that every day. What is driving us? King of Pentacles. Hard worker. What's our ben what's benefiting? What we're benefiting from? Six of Swords. All right, moving away from struggles. It's time to go on a better pastures. What's crowning us? The Ace of Swords. All right, and just cut to the chase. Get to it. And our outcome energy. Knight of Swords. All right, now you got to slow down, though. It's a great opportunity. Just slow down because it's not the right time, right? Okay, we're going to answer the call first. Your guidance is divinely guided. You're being called to answer the call of your soul. It might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearning, you will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. Answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing, rather a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the cause of your soul, and that's why most people don't do it. But you are not most people. You are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even need to know where it is leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. So there is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it, and you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the more resistant we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. Okay, now moving on to not the right time. This is not the right time presently for you, what you're inquiring about. This answer is not a no, just not yet. Have patience. Your angels will give you a sign when the timing is perfect. Okay, so it's not the right time. Now we're moving to what is our current situation is the Ten of Cups. Water energy. The Ten of Cups is all about transcendent joy and ultimate harmony. But not just generic run-of-the-mill transcendent joy and harmony. No. This card applies particularly to your home and family life. That means if you put a ring on it recently, it seems you've made a great choice. If you haven't, Maybe this is a preview of coming attractions. Ring or no, you're being blessed by the relationship gods. So keep your eyes peeled for some sort of nurturing and rewarding partnership that fills your heart beyond all expectations. Hopefully, you can spot it. Here's the affirmation. I am finally ready for a spiritual partnership that leaves my past in its ever-loving dust. 
nice knowing you, less than perfect. And then moving on to what is a driving us is the King of Pentacles, this Earth energy. Pull up a throne, don a velvet cape, and join the King of Pentacles in his favorite pastime, eyeballing your accomplishments. This master of the material realm represents the ultimate job well done. You have lots to be proud of, so don't be shy about showing yourself some love. And it appears you have lots to look forward to, especially in the realm of manifesting awesome stuff. Keep setting your sights on what you want, and there's a good chance you'll get it. Not a bad skill to have on your resume. Also, crowns never hurt an image. Here's the affirmation. Watch me as I make stuff happen. That's even more impressive than the stuff that's already happened. Okay, now moving on to what is our benefiting us is the Six of Swords, which is uh, moving on to better, better places. This is a sign that you're moving on to better times. Greener pastures, sweeter honey, less frequent panic attacks. There may be some sadness or feeling of loss as you row your boat to the other side of the lake, but you can take comfort in knowing this new shore is a definite upgrade. So while you paddle away from Struggle Beach, daydream about the private cabanas, precise mangoes, and martial arts level ma massages that await you. And also hope that word hasn't gotten out to all the tourists yet. Here's the affirmation. I call next level joy into my life and I'm so grateful for all the things I'm about to be so grateful for. What? Because now you're moving on to the Ace of Swords, which is what's crowning us. Like a lance of lucidity, the Ace of Swords signifies a powerful new beginning and an elevated understanding of the world around you. Way to elevate your consciousness, bruh. Though the blade is sharp, it's not used for minting. It cuts through malarkey and gets to the point. It offers clear thinking, honest communication, creative vision, and aha moments of plenty. Consider this card the cosmic LASIK procedure that will remedy years of cloudy sight, focus ensues, epiphanies abound, Bring in the orchestra and sing. Here's the affirmation. I see everything. I know more than ever. I still don't understand cloud computing. Now you're moving on to the Knight of Swords. Ooh, he's very fast, but great news. Just very quick with it. You just got to be refrain from being arrogant. When new endeavors are near, this, this zealous knight appears. Hip, hip, hooray, ish. Enthusiastic to the point of obsession. He races towards his goals with no regard for petty concerns like um danger or uh, anyone else's feelings. You might call him the cocade of the tarot deck. And though he has his upsides, passion, confidence, and drive, he warns us against some downsides like ignorance, arrogance, and sloppy work. So learn from this guy's mistakes. Stay excited, but be willing to exercise some caution, humility, and patience. Oh, and skip the coke. It's unbecoming of a night. Here's the affirmation. My excitement is welcome and celebrated, but when it spills over, I mop it up so no one slips. Okay, now let's just go ahead and get into this reading. You have a calling, right? It's a calling that you have. You know you have it and it's coming. It's huge. It's very, very big looking at the, the read. It's going to come in quick. So just make sure you stay humble, okay? Because it's not the right time to feel like you have... I guess, gotten bigger than what you're wanting to do, okay? There's still more to come, all right? So just make sure that you stay focused, keep your head above water, make sure that you're clear-minded when you're doing these things, okay? Because that's what the Ace of Swords is coming in to let you know, that you got this, okay? And the Knight of Swords is telling you, it's a big task. So when it comes in fast, make sure you stay humble and refrain from being arrogant, okay? Because arrogance can definitely lead us to our downfall, all right? So just make sure that you answer that call, but stay humble, okay? It's not the right time to start being, you know, arrogant. And whatever else you're wanting to do, it's not the right time right now. Take a step back and continue to answer the call step by step, okay? I want to thank you guys so much for coming to the channel. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Camille in the Lion's Den. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's lions underscore den underscore tarot. Thank you guys so much for your energy. Have a blessed day and answer the call.